What is going on guys, welcome to your 7th Coco Studios tutorial and in this tutorial, as promised, we are going to be going over scenes. So let me start out and tell you guys what the heck a scene is. And I'll tell you guys by giving you an example. Whenever you first open your game, you might see a little movie that plays, an introduction if you will. This would be a scene. So, you know, you watch your introduction and it takes you to a menu after that. And the menu is how to play um play now and you know maybe another thing so this would be a separate scene so you click play now and it takes you to the actual game the actual game would be a separate scene so that's three scenes right there so you can see quickly um how a different project or app would be composed of many different scenes so since you use many different scenes when creating a game it would be pretty useful to learn how to actually make these different scenes. Now by default in your project you have one scene right there and that's the hello world scene. It pops up hello world on screen but you can change it to anything you want. But as I was saying we need a way to learn how to create different scenes. And this is one of the problems with the Coco Studio documentation. There isn't really any good documentation anywhere on the internet that pretty much just tells you how to create a basic scene. There's only like tutorials on transitions and you know weird stuff like this. So what I did for you guys is just I'm making this tutorial just to cover how to create a basic scene. So you know this is one thing that's missing from Coco's 2D documentation. You probably can't find it anywhere else on the internet. So guys, you're welcome. So with that being said, let's get down to the tutorial. We already have one scene. It's pretty much just a menu on the screen. So let's go ahead and create another blank scene. To do that, here's what you need to do. Highlight classes right here, right click it, and press add new file. Now we're going to want to add a Cocos 2D template, a CC node class, and make sure that this class is a subclass of CC layer. Very important. Don't miss that. Now go ahead and hit next and you can name this file anything you want. I'm going to name mine ham and move this up and create it. So now I have ham h and ham m and it pretty much looks like a basic objective c file except that you're importing from cocos2d.h. So if you accidentally, you know, create a cocos I mean uh, Objective-C class, make sure you import from Cocos 2D and make sure you subclass from CC layer, you'll be fine. Now, there we go. In the header file, we only need to write one thing, and that's this, plus ID scene, semicolon of course. Now in your implementation, we need to implement this method. Now we could go ahead and code it, but there's a lot easier way to do this. Go ahead and let's steal it from the Hello World implementation right here. Go ahead and copy this, copy, and yeah, we're stealing this. So in your implementation, right between implementation and paste that. And let's give us some space. So this looks fine and dandy, but there's one thing we have to change on it. Let me move this around. In this Hello World layer, we need to change this to ham or whatever you named your class, ham, just like that. And that's all we need to do for this method. So go ahead and steal your implementation from another scene and just change those two little words, words, and bam, you're good to go. How sweet is that? So in order to finish off this class, that sounded kind of deadly, like finish you off. But in order to finish this scene, what we need to do is we need to steal one more method, this init method right here. So go ahead and copy this pretty much it's just basically stealing stuff from other classes it doesn't sound too nice but you know that's life so command paste and you have your init method stolen so let me show you guys what's at the meat of this go ahead and delete everything in your if block too so pretty much you end up with this once you delete all the comments and all the crap to make that menu it's in it and then you have an if statement that says if self is equal to super in it and then you return self so that's the only method you need and for now I'm just gonna leave this scene blank but again if you want to create anything in it just type it in here so with that being said what we want to do now is we want to go back to this hello world scene implementation and what we want to do is 
instead of having this button do nothing, let's go ahead and build and run this so you can see. Make sure we don't got any errors. Alright, instead of having this button just click it and do nothing, what we want to do is be able to click it and have it take us to that other blank scene we just created. So go ahead and exit out of your iPhone stimulator and in this code, this do this code, here's what you need to do. CC director, by the way, the director is the thing that changes scenes for you. How appropriately named shared director and we want this director to replace scene and we want him to do this using a cool transition CC zoom flip X transition let me move this over and transition with duration this means how long do you want your transition to last just go ahead and type in whoa whoa transition with duration one and the parameter I just accidentally deleted is scene and this is let me just go ahead and type this in it isn't really cooperating ham space node dang it there we go alright so of course these parameters are this we want our director because that's a singleton or that's a object that takes care of our scenes for us we want him to replace a scene and how do we want him to do it we want him to use a cool transition we want it to take one second long and what do we want for our new scene that ham node that we just created and of course end it with a semicolon and now let's go ahead and the last thing we need to do is import this ham class so import ham.h so when it comes across mother fudger there we go so when it comes across this right here it knows what we're talking about so go ahead build and run this save and succeeded so now check this out whenever we press our button it does this cool little flip and it takes us to a blank screen so you know this blank screen is actually our new ham scene so what I'm gonna do actually is change this tutorial up a bit I'm actually gonna go to this ham implementation and add you know what I can do just go ahead and steal this menu right here so you know instead of just flipping to black because that's kinda boring go ahead and paste this and let's go ahead and change a few things first of all let's add the image of the pizza so we'll get rid of target get rid of all this stuff target and selector well we can leave that there this is really being really difficult for me right now. So, anyways, in your ham.m, just go ahead and put what's my other file name? Ham.ping and ham.ping. All I'm doing right now is basically just adding a picture in the next scene. So instead of just blank black screen, it actually has something in it. So now let's go ahead. Hopefully, I didn't mess anything up, or else I'm going to be PO'd. All right. So here's our program. Here's scene number one. When we click it, it flips to scene number two and of course scene number two we didn't add any functionality to this we just have a blank pizza on the screen so that is the basics of how you transition from one scene to another scene using a menu with a button in it and you typically instead of a guy getting hit in the face with a soccer ball you want to create an actual button and typically instead of a piece of pizza you actually want to create a game but you know for now I think we learned quite a bit so in the next tutorial we'll be going over that creating a game stuff but for now I'm just gonna look at this pizza and uh, enjoy it so thank you guys for watching hopefully you understood this if you didn't I'm gonna be posting step by step in my forum I'll post the link below so um yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, don't forget to check out my forum yeah see you next time